Good morning and welcome to the gathering where we come together and put away all of the stuff that's going on around us and spend a few minutes to think about who we are and how God is using us each day. Let's pray. Lord, open our hearts, open our minds to receive what you would have for us to hear today and to make it a part of who we are and what we do. Amen. This morning, Deacon Gregorio is with us. Good morning, everybody. As I haven't seen you since last year, I'm gonna wish you Happy New Year to all of you and hope everything will be better than the last one. Uh, today I want to share a short, a short part of the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 22, verses 31, 35 to 40. One of the Pharisees, a scholar of the law, tested Jesus by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love your Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. Gospel of the Lord. Pastor Jim says, said a good statement to reflect who we are. Where are we coming from and where are we going to? As children of God, we are called to know that we are coming from Him as a family, as a members of His body. No matter who you are, no matter what language you speak, no matter what culture you are, we are brothers and sisters. We, we came from Him and we are going back to Him. For that, we are called to observe and to live within God, in God's love. And reflecting on the commandments, those are rules of law. They're, they are not punishments. They help us to rule our lives and to do the good for everyone else as we had to do it for ourselves. Jesus, using the commandments, if we pay attention, he resumed this, those ten commandments into two. The first one is the first three commandments that are referring to God. First one, love God above everything else. Second, do not say the name of God in vain. And third, make holy the Sabbath, the day of the Lord. That is the one commandment that, that Jesus is talking about, the greatest commandment. But then we have the rest of them, which help us to, to rule and to live among us a family, to respect and to love, to serve and to honor everyone else in our lives. And Jesus said very clear. Everything resumes in these two commandments. Besides that, there's nothing else. So, brothers, you and I are called to love God above everything else and to love one another. How difficult in these days is to love everybody as God is calling us. Just look at the Middle East. Look at all the conflicts around the world. Look at all the misery in many countries. Look and pay attention to those in addictions, homeless. It is a challenge for us to see them according to, the, to God's call, love one another. We humans have the tendency to ignore that and to love only those who love us and to give to those only who give us and to serve to those only who serve us. And that's not what it is. We are called to be here as children of God to do service without expecting any payment, any service. Jesus was the perfect example of that love going up on the cross. He did it for the good and the bad, hoping that everybody will find him, follow him, and go with him to the end. So today, reflecting in the commandments, your call and my call, is to become one with Jesus and to love and serve one another with respect and dignity. 
So let us ask Jesus to help us have wisdom to see his call, to give us intelligence to discern what is best, but about, above everything, to make us humble servants of everybody. Let's bow our heads for the final prayer and blessing. Lord Jesus Christ, by going up into the cross, you taught us how powerful your love is and asking us to do the same. You are the testimony of true love, which means giving up ourselves in all what we have, in all what we own, to do the service for our salvation. Give us the strength to do the same for one another. And I ask, Heavenly Father, that through your Son, Jesus, bless of your children in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed day.